Well, at least I came to the right place. Rufus Wainwright is coming here. That rainy thing is... That's what you prepared for me? And here we are in Malaga, the Teatro Cervantes, which is one of the bigger theatres in Spain. It's 1,100 and something seats, so just enough. We're gonna project on the balconies. Well, and on the roof, of course. That roof. Well, right now, Danny is preparing the mapping in D3, so maybe, no. We're not going to talk about D3 here. I'm going to bring up some uh, disguise tutorial sometime soon, I hope. Until then, uh, let's just have a look at the mapping. What we're doing here is a little special. And there is the usual mapping that we do on these balconies, which is the sea. You saw that already um, in other places. Uh, Pamplona, for example. But the roof is different. This roof is a painting of Malaga's harbour, obviously. So the idea is that those two projectors are projecting onto the roof and um, here we have the painting that I'm going to animate. So this is the harbour and we're going to have some waves coming in here and some clouds moving up here. All in all, it's just a augmented reality game, but the trick works out if people know their seating. So this is why we're again talking about site-specific content. Well, let's see how it works out. The first thing you do is you um, put something to measure on onto the seating. This is the painting. I mean, it's really difficult to see, but. There is the harbour, and we're going to have waves here. It's Election Sunday in Spain, and everywhere the Polygonios stand in line, either to vote or to get their breakfast. So this seems to be the perfect opportunity to talk about the essentials of mapping a painting. Oh well, augmented reality in another way. Is a painting reality? I don't know. Let's agree that paintings are a reality that you can augment. Even if some paintings are more real than others. Wow. And as it seems, people here in Malaga know how to paint their walls and roofs, so let's give it some effort and try to create an illusion that is uh, as perfect as possible. But as we know, there is no perfect. There's quite a difference between animating assets that are already in the picture and creating new content that is put into the picture but still has a relation to what is there. Whether you want to put some beards and moustaches on faces, or if you want to really augment the reality of the painting, put some new meaning into it. For example, Tempestad. While we're here looking at the one and a half centuries of theatre history at Malaga's Teatro Cervantes, let's talk about the piece itself. There's this big thunderstorm happening and the people are frightened that Otello's ship might sink. So we have to create a tempestad. Some storm that is strong enough for the people to just believe that it is a real storm. So we need waves, um, thunder and, uh, well, some moving clouds. Maybe some leaves and maybe some uh, lighting effects. Like there was a torch moving in the wind. Um, add all this to the image and we're fine. Well, it's not that simple, I agree. Yeah, and the mapping has to be really precise. So there are some rules. In a very first step, let's investigate what we're projecting on. This is the painting that's on the roof of the Teatro Cervantes in Malaga. 
Well, this is obviously the harbour of Malaga and there are children playing here and there is a boat and then there is this statue up here that is on a kind of building. Then there are buildings on the sides and a huge square where people are collected. Then you see the mountains and the castle on the mountains and then some skies. So these are the assets that are there. Maybe we want to enhance this. So the idea is to bring some waves in here and for that we will rebuild the structure of this harbour. So there are steps and there are walls coming from the sides and then we have the architecture on top of it. So there is collision areas everywhere. Let's create them in Houdini. And of course, as usual, we will be projecting on the balconies. All this will be the sea surrounding the audience.